Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another course vlog, this time from PGA West, the Greg Norman course. This course here plays about 7,100 yards from the tips and it's a more of a desert layout as compared to the rest of the courses here at the PGA West Resort. Here on this first hole hourglass, I'm looking to just take a two iron here off the tee and hit it to the fat part of the fairway. I do apologize for the lack of shot tracer here. We don't, we're gonna have it uh, on most of the shots as normal, but here in the early morning, um, my program just didn't wanna pick up the golf ball in the air and yeah, so be it. I push this one a little bit off to the right hand side. Now, once again, Shot Tracer ain't gonna pick this one up. This is a full seven iron off the blind crest. Had to pick a spot off in the distance and hope I got the distance right. Ended up tugging it a little bit, but you know what? Hey, let's just get one up and down. Oh, not quite as close as I really wanted it to be, but here on this early morning, these greens were running a lot better than I expected them to be off the maintenance that they had been off the summer. Yeah, there we go. Off with a hot start. A nice up and down par. And here we go, the first par five of the day. 520 yards straight back into the sunlight here. Hit it, hope it goes straight. Absolutely gave it all I got there. This thing hit a hill in the middle of the fairway, kick forward, and I was absolutely astonished at how far this thing went. I normally hit the ball about 330. Out here in the desert, maybe 350 if I catch it, but for this one to go 375, hey, like I said, it must have hit something. That's where it was sitting. It was all the way down there. And when you have a pitching wedge into a par 5 and you shove it out all the way over to the right-hand side like this, oh my gosh, 45 feet for eagle when you were facing a pitching wedge into the green. Oh boy, and they were definitely turning even though they didn't look great here today. Rolling plenty smooth enough. There we go. Now, that's the way we like to start. Third hole here, and uh, it's going to be the one of the tougher par fours of the day. Corker, let's give it all we got. Now, the driver was really working for me this morning. I mean, hey, after waking up at 3 in the morning, driving two hours out to the desert in order to catch a dawn tea time, I'm just glad the thing's going straight, to be honest with you. Nice full 8-iron into this back flag. And, hey, you know what? The 8-iron goes 170 back home. I was not surprised to see this one fly a little bit long, and that told me right away that the ball was flying true to those normal desert distances that I'm used to maybe five to 10% longer. But hey, let's roll in another 25 footer here for birdie. Back to back to start the day. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, just a little bit more and that would have been a sweet, sweet birdie. It's okay, we're onto the first par three of the day and it's only 140 yards from the tips. Just a little pitching wedge to this front flag. Nah, and it really hit that well. Sent the pitching wedge well over the flag, to be honest with you. I mean, once again, ball's flying a lot further than normal. So, from this distance, not really too makeable, to be honest, and uh, just trying to lag it down there and make an easy, easy par. Well, that one's easy enough, I guess. Stand right in front of the camera, tap it on in. Another par keeps us under par for the day, and we're on to another shortish par four. And uh, this one here, Shot Tracer couldn't pick up, but with a little bit of zoom in, the camera did. And as you could potentially see there, I really caught that thing good. Sent that two iron straight down the fairway. Left myself a beautiful number here for a full gap wedge. 
So let's hit this one close. Now, something, if you follow the channel along here, I have been pushing my 100% wedges off to the right-hand side. I have recently received a tip from uh, a PGA Pro, one Colin McCarthy. His link is down below, his Instagram link, and uh, hey, his chipping tip has revolutionized the, uh, the way that I see chip shots and full shots with my wedges. It's... Yeah, it's mind-blowing, but it just works. It just works. An easy two-putt par here, and we're on to the toughest par four that we're going to see all day. Didgeridoom. Oh, boy. Really pinched fairway out there. Got to thread the needle with the driver. Well, I was really hitting the ball well with the driver and turning it over, and uh, this time I tried to kind of squeeze a little cut down there and double-crossed it a little bit left straight down the cart path, and luckily was able to take a drop here. Just uh, take your stance, take a, a club length off of that stance, and drop it anywhere on that club length. Just had to deal with what I had to deal with. Uh, those boxes in the front. If I hit it well, really you're not in the way. Now, I thought I hit it well, but I did hit it a little bit fat here, and it's going to end up a little bit short of the green, and luckily short of this bunker, too. I thought there was a little slope behind the green. There was, but it wasn't quite severe enough to catch my ball. Sent down this par putt, really thought I could make it, but hey, ultimately... A little stress-free tap-in bogey is okay with me on the hardest hole of the day. And here is one of the most beautiful par threes I've seen in a while. Boomerang. Look at the shape of that green all around that water hazard. Really gave that 7-iron all I got and gave it a little bit extra. Tugged it a little bit off to the left-hand side and faced myself a difficult up and down with the water long. And, uh, ooh, did not want to blade another one over the green, so I was taking my time playing this one off my back foot. Really was able to nip that one quite well. And left myself a makeable par putt here. Makeable par putts, it's really all you want when you're uh, trying to get up and down. Look at the low side of the hole. Make sure, make sure you leave yourself underneath the hole. You don't want a slippery one. You want to be able to hit an aggressive putt right up the hill and right into the hole. Man, oh man, I really, really thought I had that one. Didn't though. That's just another bogey. It is what it is. Because I like par fives. Even though I got to give this one apparently a uh, wallaby wallop. Ah, let's see what we can do. Give it all we got. 617. Yep, that one qualifies as all we got. Caught that one quite well and uh, sent it right down the middle of the fairway. Now, when I have over 300 yards left, I'm really just going to have to play a sensible layup here. Five iron, wanted to leave myself somewhere around 100 yards into the green. Uh, as you can see, death off to the right. Death, death, death. So, just play a dead straight shot. And, uh, oh boy, I was definitely leaning off to the left-hand side. Didn't want that bounce, but got a nice soft one. You can see my buddy down there on the right-hand side. He got a really soft bounce and really lucky. Uh, here I was able to hit this one pretty close to the green. Checked up really nicely and, uh, okay, 20, 25 feet. These have been, uh, these have been kind of those makeable putts that we've been seeing all day. Let's roll one in. Or roll it by. It's all right. It's inside the camera angle here. And uh, tap it on in for another par. One more hole to go here on the front nine. And uh, the Gippsland Gulch here is talking about that huge ditch in front of the green. So this is a layup par four. Two iron off the tee here. 
Now, I really wasn't comfortable over the tee shot, to be honest with you. Hit this one late, way off onto the right and into the desert area here. Found the ball. It was sitting where it was sitting. Had to uh, make do with what I had here. Took a gap wedge and just tried to get it up and over the trees in front of me. Hopefully all the way somewhere over the gulch and uh, towards the green. I thought it would be okay. You know, the pin was all the way on the back left, and I hit it kind of towards the middle of this really, really weirdly shaped green, huh? And uh, here, let's get one up and down to finish the nine. I caught that one okay and hit it up there plenty close. Five feet for par to finish off the nine. Let's roll one in, keep a smile on our face. Whoo, that was a slippery one off to the right, downhill. Really committed to my line, and uh, hey, a one over par 37 is pretty good, to be honest with you, and I'm pretty happy with that. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button down below. It really helps the channel out, and I'll have a lot more vlogs just like this. Well, that's it for this nine holes. We'll see you next Tuesday for nine more.